Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmad and in this particular video tutorial we will see what is the not exist operator in SQL Server and how to use the not exist operator in SQL Server. So the not exist operator is generally used in the subquery to check whether some records not exist in a particular table. So without wasting further time let's jump to the demo. I got the SQL Server instance here and I got two tables STG employees table and the employees table. Okay. And now I want to check like what are the employees in the STG employees table those does not exist in the employees table okay this is one of the widely used scenario in most of the projects like if we are working on an incremental update project okay so we are getting some data from the client on some regular basis and if you want to check like what are the records those does not exist in the destination table so that we can insert those records to the destination table then we can use the not exist query here. So one of the excellent thing about the not exist query is that not exist query is one of the fastest and one of the best way to check whether records does not exist in a particular table. Okay. So normally we have three different methods to check if a record does not exist in the destination table. So first we can use the left join or we can use the not in query or we can use the not exist query. And the not exist query is the fastest method among all these three options. Okay, you can test it on some very large tables and you can just see the performance by yourself as well. Okay, so first of all, let me just write the query uh, using the left join, like how we can write the query to find out the records those does not exist in the destination table. Okay, so I will use the left join here. So let me write the query select star from STG employees A left join and then the right table which is the employees table b on a dot employee id equal to b dot employee id okay i will select the data from the stg employees table because i want to select the data only from this table okay but let me just show you like if i will use the left join that then how it will show you the data so if you see here we are only interested in the records those does not exist in the right table okay so the left join will return the value null if a record does not exist in the right table okay so we are interested only in the records where there are the null values so we can write a where condition where employee id and b dot employee id actually is null okay so these are the records in which we are interested and we just need to select the data only from the source table so this is the final query to select the data the records those exist in the stg employees table but does not exist in the employees table so this is the method number one okay and the second method to ch check for the employees those does not exist in the second table is that we can use the not in query okay so how we can write it select a dot star from stg employees a where a dot employee id not in and then we can select the employee id from the employees table select employee id okay so what this will do this sub query this will return all the employees and then this will return the employees where employee id not in okay so this will return you the employees those exist in the stg employees but does not exist in the employees table okay so this is another method and this is widely used actually as well uh, because this is one of the easiest thing now here comes our final query uh, to select the data from the STG employees where record does not exist in the employees table using the not exist query. So how we can write it? Uh, we can copy this query uh, till here till the STG employees A. Uh, so we will select the data from the STG employees where not exist. Okay, so here we need to use the not exist keyword. Okay, and now in the sub query we can select the data from the employees table select employee id from the employees where employees dot employee id equal to a dot employee id a table is the stg employees table okay a dot employee id okay so this is the fastest query to check whether some record does not exist okay and the major difference between the uh, this first option you know the left join and the not exist is that when you use a left join so what it does it compare 
every record from first table with every record in the destination table so even if it find a match it will still try to find all the other records as well because there can be some duplicate employee id as well in the table so if there will be some duplicate id then this will return the multiple records okay so that's why it will try to match every record from first table with every record in the second table however this is not the case with the not exist operator so in case of the not exist operator what it will does as soon as it will try to find the first record and it will find the first record here then it will right away stop searching for the further employee id one matches in the rest of the table because we are only interested in the just first record so because we are using the not exist here so the not exist will become false as soon as it will find the first matching record so that's why it will stop right there and that's the reason the not exist query is the fastest among all these three queries okay so this is one of the use of the not exist query and the not exist query can also be used in different scenarios as well suppose if you want to check if a table exists or not in a database then you can use the not exist query you can use the not exist query to check whether a database exists you can use the not exist query to check whether an index exists or a view exists or if for example a constant exists so you can use the not exist query in lot of different scenarios okay so maybe i can just show you like a couple of scenarios here maybe i can show you like in case if a table exists then truncate the table otherwise create the table okay because the not exist query is widely used in the ssis packages and in the deployment script so suppose you are creating an ssis package and in the ssis package suppose you need to create an staging table okay so you cannot just directly write the create table stg or something you know because the table might already be there in the database so you can't just directly create the tables so before creating the table you need to check whether the table already exists in the database or not so suppose if the table already exists then you might think of like dropping the table and then recreating it or you can just simply if the table exists then you can just directly truncate it otherwise if table does not exist then you can create the table okay so that's how it works so i have some query written here so let me copy the first of the query and paste it here so here we are checking if employees table exist so what we can do to use the not exist we can add not here if not exist so if employees one table does not exist okay so then maybe we can create the table like create table employee one okay and like uh, id int okay so suppose if i need to create the employees one table let me copy and paste it here so if table won't be there if it won't exist then it will create the table okay so suppose if i just execute this single line first time it will run successfully but second time if you will execute it it will fail so it is saying like there is already an object named this one in the database however if you will execute this query along with the first query then it will run successfully because before creating the table we are checking like if table does not exist then create the table and in the else we, maybe we can just truncate the table if the uh, data is already there in the table so we can truncate it okay so this is how it can work this is widely used in the ssis packages and in the deployment script similarly if you are going to create an index on a table then before creating the index you can check like if index does not exist then create the index okay so suppose if i want to check like how many indexes exist on the employees one table so i just created the table so right now there should not be any indexes right so what we can do uh, we can just simply copy the query to check whether index exist or not on the table okay so here it is checking like if on the employees one table whether ix employee id index exist or not okay so maybe i can call it like ix id table name is employees one so that's fine and i can add the not exist query here so if not exist okay then create the index so i can create the index ix underscore id on table name and the column name column name is the id okay so now what will happen suppose if you are executing this particular index creation query separately then first time it will work fine okay and you will find the index but now if second time if you will execute this query then it will fail that the index already exists on the table but if you will execute this one along with the query to check whether the index exists or not then it will work fine 
So this is how we write the queries in the SSIS packages because the same SSIS package needs to be executed multiple times like maybe every day or every week or every month. So we need to write the SQL queries in such a way that before creating the table we should always check for the existence of the table and before creating an index we should always check like whether index does not exist only then create the index okay so these are some of the use cases of the not exist operator and this is widely used in the sql development and in the ssis package development so i will share the creatable statement for the uh, stg employees and employees table and all the sql queries that i used here so if you got any question then you can ask in the comment yes i think that's it for today's video Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.